Hey, this is Ryan from Geek.com, and we're going to take another look at uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop today, specifically how you use Google's new priority notification system. Uh, so this is tied into uh, to all of the notifications on your phone. Every app will support this uh, by default because all it all it's really doing is controlling uh, when notifications. Uh, can make noise on the phone in sort of a more advanced way than you were able to before. So uh, the first place you'll probably see this is when you hit the volume toggle. Now you get so you get your regular uh, your slider, but then also you get all priority and none listed right here. So all is just all your notifications can make noise and vibrate the phone. Obviously, uh, priority only uh, only priority notifications are able to do that. And I'll talk about what that means in a second. Uh, and none means that nothing makes noise at all, uh, not even alarms, which seems like maybe not the best idea. Um, and so for none and prior priority, you can also set uh, a timer for how long that will last. So uh, you can get into the settings uh, here to get to uh, make changes to this uh, or set uh, a timer right from this pop-up. But if you want to access a few more features of this, then um, you can just go into your main system settings. I just want you to see how to get there because it's not super obvious. You can hit the settings button in the, in the pop-up or go into sound and notification. And then interruptions is where all this stuff is. So here you can pick, uh, you know, what mode you're in, you know, uh, just like you can on, on the, the volume pop-up. And then you've got... Uh, what you get to decide what's a priority, you know, events and reminders, calls, messages, and then of course you can set the calls and messages to only come from certain people. So even, you know, you could have family members always able to make your phone ring even if it's set to priority mode or none. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's still just in priority mode. None doesn't do anything. Um, and then you can set uh, a schedule to automatically have uh, what Google calls downtime, priority interruptions on a schedule. And then, in addition to that, back in this last menu, you can also figure out uh, which apps you want to have be priority. Uh, I mean, you can set the general stuff in that last uh, screen like I showed you, but then you can actually go in and you can find any app uh, that you want in here and then uh, decide if you want to block all the, all the notifications. I mean, this, is, uh, this part was already in Android. Uh, it was a way for you to prevent apps from popping up notifications com uh, at all. So you can still do that, but you can also uh, set things as priority so that they'll always come through even when you're in priority mode. And then uh, you can also use this menu to set something as sensitive so it won't show up on the lollipop lock screen, which by default will show all of your notifications. So a lot more complicated than uh, just hitting the volume toggle. But you do have a lot more options. So once you get the hang of it, it can be a pretty powerful tool. Um, so you you know you you can uh, play around with that and see if you uh, are into into messing around with all of your your priority notification settings. Uh, and then just be aware uh, you'll see a star up here or a little strike through symbol when you have one of the, uh, the either priority or no notifications on. Uh, just be aware of that. It is possible that you might accidentally turn on no, not no notifications and then you don't get alarms. So that's happened to me a couple times. Just, uh, just be aware. Make yourself uh, familiar with this as soon as you get Lollipop on one of your devices. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.